Okay, here's a quick little review on a um, one way you can do off-grid power and use power tools with the Risen Grid Temp Power. Um, it, it, obviously, I'm, I'm using cordless tools, and for the DeWalt, I, I can recharge batteries out here with this thing, although it takes a while to get those NICADs up to strength. And um, the Ryobi, I have a 12-volt charger for. The DeWalt, I have a 12-volt charger for, too, and um, it just, I don't know, it's okay, it's not great. It's not as good as the Ryobi one. And, um, but anyway, I'm going to go into this, this, in 5-1 portable power pack. Now I got this one at Harbor Freight, um, but they, they sell versions of it through a few other mail order catalogs, and from what I can tell, they're all the same thing. But the, the Harbor Freight item number is 96157, 5-1 portable power pack. It has a uh, small air compressor built into it that supposedly can go up to 260 PSI. On my truck tires, uh, it won't get them up to 80, I'll tell you that. So whatever they're saying is, you know, might be happy talk to sell stuff. Um, but it has cranking amps so that when you're running that 400 watt inverter, you'll get all 400 watts out of that, no problem at all. Um, that runs small power tools up to like 3.5 amps, which is a lot of small power tools. It'll also run any laptop in a business, it'll run almost any computer printer in a business, uh, any of your, your mobile office stuff that you can imagine really truthfully needing, you're going to be able to run off of this thing. And if you set this up um, very easily with a with a power here, you got an on off switch, the jumper cables that are built into it, um, very easy to integrate with that one of these with one of those uh, Harbor Freight 3 solar panel solar power kits. Um, and then you got a fully functioning electrical system. Okay, it all everything you need. Self-regulating. The uh, the Harbor Freight kit comes with a charge controller that would self-regulate this. It's got a full um, little meter gauge. It tells you how much power you have. This is the PSI for your air compressor. Um, yeah, but if you're looking for a budget bug out power system and you had two or three of these things. Realize that one of those costs actually slightly less than that Ryobi lithium battery. It holds more power. Um, the only thing you're really giving up is portability. Obviously, if I carried five of those around, that's that's even starting to tax the, uh, um, you know, what your considerations are going to be as far as cargo capacity in a vehicle. Carrying five of these lithium batteries around, that's no problem. But um, to be able to get a bunch of other devices to run off of those lithium batteries, that's a hassle. And this thing comes with, you know, a lot of plugs, a lot of stuff on there, um, the 12-volt uh, outlets. The charge controller that comes with that Harbor Freight kit is a pretty good little device in and of itself in that it has um, step-down converters that will take your 12-volt, run it all the way down to... Uh, nine, uh, nine volt, seven volt, six volt, and the 5.5 USB plug. And so, yeah, if you're looking for an integrated solar system, it's not going to break the bank. You can get one of these boxes plus the solar panel kit at Harbor Freight. If you work the coupons right, around 250 bucks. You know, that's it, it maybe 300 if you if you've gotten a paid sales tax or shipping. That's not bad. Uh, you can even run some of those electric heaters off of this, although it won't last very long. It's enough to warm up a tent, or let's say you do a tent within a tent during cold weather, it, it'll warm up the inner tent okay. Um, if you put one in the feet, down around your feet in a sleeping bag, it would probably get uncomfortably warm fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I was going to make a video about right there.